Sussex Police and Crime Panel was scheduled to meet on the 27th of June 2014. A few days before the meeting, the panel's web page said the annual meeting would take place at 10am. Please note the change of start time to 10am. The meeting will be webcast live. No mention was made of the fact that the panel was due to accept or reject the Commissioner's proposed candidate for the post of Chief Constable. One had to download the agenda to discover that. Further down the same web page, the meeting was said to be at 10.30am. Anyone ignorant of the nature of this variable collection of panellists and their bureaucrat shepherds might have assumed that the first time given at the top of the page Replace that in the short list further down, so that person might have accessed the webcast page at 10 o'clock. This is what he or she would have seen. I had been subjected to this before. My YouTube video entitled More Sussex PCP Hearings contained the following brief clips. At this time, on this day, I was ready to watch the webcast. After half an hour of seeing this, I tried another computer with the same result. Sometime later, I noticed a message at the side of the web page. It is now Saturday evening. Tomorrow was yesterday. The technical issues have not succeeded in resolving themselves, and they probably don't work on a Sunday. The website still says available soon, but I'm not waiting, so the video ends here. The present live webcast showing no signs of life. Any viewer would have had time to look around. Top left, one was told that the panel is to meet at 10.30 after all, so there's nearly half an hour to wait. The oddly named timeline on the right, a list rather than a line, could have puzzled any newcomer to this circus. It confirms the time, then seems to be the agenda for the meeting. But why, for item two, are the panel to consider the minutes of a meeting which happened 19 months before? And why does item seven imply that the panel did not meet in 2013? Item eight has the clerk reporting on written questions by members of the public. Item 8 is just slipshod work, but the other oddities are due to the fact that this is the agenda of a meeting which took place on Friday the 11th of January 2013, when the Commissioner explained her draft police and crime plan. What I'm asking is uh, to take your attention to, let me make sure I've got the right page numbers here, um, page 15, which is... Um, I like to uh, refer to as the dartboard, which you are familiar with, and, uh, and very much the plan is fed into this three engagement partnership and police diagram. And hopefully it's fairly explanatory how everything works. So this illustrates how everything works. Kent only has a misshapen onion. So what's that diagram? These are all the various things, different kinds of policing. Okay, in Kent, and these are the different kinds of policing priorities in terms of priority. So what would be an example of, uh, of a crime on the, on the outside of that room? Oh, God, no idea. I can't tell you, actually. I mean, I wasn't thinking I was going to talk about the, the onion, <laughs> as we call it. But Sussex has a dartboard with nine acronyms. Seventeen months after the dartboard meeting... One was still waiting for the 10.30 a.m. meeting to start. At 11.35, hope was fading. But there was to be a recess and informal briefing in an hour's time, during which the panel could be given guidance regarding the appointment of a chief constable. The meeting was due to resume at 13.35, with the confirmation hearing for the chief constable starting at 13.40 followed by a secret meeting for determination of recommendations. I might at least be able to watch the non-secret part of item 16A, 
So I returned to the webcast page at 1335 and waited in vain until after the confirmation hearing was due to end. At 4.15pm I returned to East Sussex Public I.TV and found two messages. Live webcast concluded. Really? Did any transmission take place or are you lying? If it did not start it cannot have concluded. Sorry, this webcast has been deleted. Saying sorry is not enough. I paid for this webcast and I want to know who deleted it and why. At 5pm I accessed the Commissioner's website, thinking that one of the 15 officers she employs to ensure transparency, among other things, might provide some explanation of what had happened. But the main entry on the page said, The latest news was that. And the latest police news was... The trivial task of updating text on a web page was evidently too much for the 15 officers employed in the Commissioner's office. At midday the next day, Saturday the 28th of June, I tried again. Only the Sussex Police headlines had changed. Three minutes later I tried the Sussex Police home page. What do the 15 officers in the Commissioner's office do all day? At 1.45pm I checked the Argus online for the second time for information about the lack of a webcast, but the meeting was not even mentioned. I suppose that might reflect the public apathy about the matter, which is encouraged by the way in which council officers and elected councillors behave.